God bless and good evening once again. This is Brother Darren, Hebrews 9 verse 27 and John 3 verse 16. So as some of you have probably seen this week, um, the United Arab uh, Emirate company Etisalat has teamed up with... Uh, Biohacks International, um, the developer of the implantable RFID chip for the hand. Um, you know, that technology will allow for, of course, for online transactions. And this was a landmark, or should I say, a groundbreaking uh, development as far as this technology is concerned. And You know, and with it uh, supporting, or should I say, demonstrating um, or fulfilling the biblical prophecy uh, of the mark of the beast. Now, I'm just going to go through uh, a little bit of this article, but it says, um, Future of UAE, uh, Etis Salat showcases microchip implants. And it says microchips, microchips implanted in humans to perform daily transactions such as shopping, going inside the metro train and other digital transaction. This may probably be one of the major highlights during the recently concluded Golf Information Technology Exhibition, GitX Week. This event is the biggest and most popular technology exhibition in the Middle East, which showcases next generation technologies introduced by governments and international companies. Etisala has teamed up with Biohacks International, a biotechnology company in Stockholm, Sweden, to introduce the technology to the UAE and the Middle East audience. The chip, which is the size of a rice grain, will be inserted under the skin between the index finger and the thumb. The chip will contain all kinds of data including passwords, medical history and other sensitive information. Here's a photo of Biohacks International founder demonstrating the microchip technology. So as we can see in set there we have some, some Arabs keenly and avid, avidly uh, looking on the insertion of the microchip uh, into the hand and this, this technology. Now, Joan Osterland, the CEO of Biohacks, presented the advanced payment demonstration of the biocompatible NFC implant in a unique showcase completing the intelligent shopping experience using the microchip implanted in the hand. The biochip has a transmitter and antenna and it works with NFC or near, near field communication technology that allows digital transactions. And that's what the Bible says that uh, there will be a mark, a mark of the beast that you won't be able to buy or sell without uh, in Revelation chapter 13. So you can imagine the possibilities of seamless digital interaction for everyday transactions. This makes us wonder if this is the next phase of human evolution. Here's a Facebook video post from Biohacks International showcasing the microchip to the Crown Prince of Dubai during their visit at Gitex Technology Week. Here's a video demonstration taken from Biohacks of the microchip implant on everyday use as it stores sensitive information etc etc it will allow you to make purchases go inside trains enter your office it will act as your personal identification so you can sign in and out to your mobile device or computer or perform any function similar to that of credit cards and other plastic cards what do you think about this technology will we be seeing many residents and expats implanting these microchips anytime soon question mark so there you go, folks. And do you know what's quite funny? Obviously, the United Arab Emirates is predominantly a Muslim country um, or region. And what's actually really interesting is that the Quran claims to be, um, you know, 
the last testimony of Allah. And, you know, Muslims believe it's the final confirmation uh, and truth for their religion. But do you know what? The funny thing is this. The Quran does not have the mark of the beast in it. It doesn't have it. It's missing. It's absent. Neither does it have the Passover lamb uh, from Exodus in any of the accounts. Neither does it have Jesus Christ being crucified on the, uh, on the cross. Neither does it have Jesus Christ being the son of God or being God manifest in human form. But what a coincidence. It is the first region or, or country to kind of be purchasing this technology matching up and fulfilling the biblical prophecy of the mark of the beast but let's look at etis salat and get a bit more information this is going to be a, a very short video you know i'll leave it to the lord to impress upon your hearts and what to pray for and to understand and observe biblical prophecy and how it how it will be fulfilled so what it says is that uh, Etislat is a multinational Emirati based telecommunication services provider currently operating in 15 countries across Asia, the Middle East and Africa. As of February 2014, Etislat is the 14th largest mobile network operator in the world with a total customer base of more than 167 million. Etislat was named the most powerful company in the United Arab Emirates by Forbes Middle East in 2012. Um, so if we go down here, it says that Etisalat is one of the internet hubs in the Middle East. It, pro it provides connectivity to other telecommunications operators in the region. It's also the largest carrier of international voice traffic in the Middle East and Africa and the 12th largest voice carrier in the world. 510 Roman agreements covering 186 countries. So... Uh, I'll kind of just just end it there but I will go on just to say this um, you know Facebook are obviously developing their brain implantable chip Neuralink uh, are developing their implantable chip and uh, the brain one and I've talked about you know how that connects to both the papacy and uh and other things as well um, i've got a lot of videos under under my youtube ministry or should i say the lord's youtube ministry uh hebrews 9 verse 27 and john 3 verse 16 but we can see things uh being fulfilled prophetically um it, there's no doubt about that so um yeah i'm just gonna gonna end the video there but what we do see is in accordance with the prophecy at the moment for Revelation chapter 13 for the second beast, we see that it's a false prophet um, and it's, it's part of another system which directs worship onto the first beast, the first set of empires or uh, empires that climax with Rome. Um, and it, that, that beast directs worship and also introduces the mark so what we're seeing now is a convergence of technology being developed from different technological development uh, companies uh, around the world some global um, billion dollar um, you know companies um, yet again slowly but surely fulfilling this prophecy God bless, this is Brother Darren, Hebrews 9 verse 27 and John 3 verse 16.